In recent years, China has faced one of its most pressing environmental challenges, desertification. With vast areas of land succumbing to arid conditions, the need for innovative solutions has never been greater. One of the most intriguing and somewhat surprising approaches has been the breeding of over 1.2 million rabbits. This video will delve into this unconventional strategy, exploring its origins, implementation, and the broader implications for combating desertification. So, join us as we uncover the stories that shape our world and inspire positive change. Welcome back to Just Know It 254. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel. I promise you will have the best videos and I will make them so interesting for you to watch and learn. Please subscribe. Let us start by understanding desertification. Before we dive into the rabbit initiative, it's essential to understand what desertification is and why it poses a significant threat. Desertification is the process through which fertile land becomes increasingly arid, leading to a loss of vegetation, soil degradation, and a decline in agricultural productivity. This phenomenon is primarily driven by factors such as climate change, deforestation, and unsustainable farming practices. In China, desertification has been particularly pronounced in the northern and northwestern regions, affecting millions of people and contributing to food insecurity. With an estimated one-third of the country's land affected, the Chinese government recognized that immediate and effective measures were needed to combat this growing crisis. That is when the concept of using rabbit came to life. The idea of using rabbits to address desertification stems from their natural behaviors and ecological roles. Rabbits are herbivores, which means they feed on a variety of plants, including grasses and shrubs. When managed properly, they can help control overgrown vegetation and encourage the growth of more diverse plant species. This process can aid in stabilizing the soil and restoring ecosystems. The Rabbit Initiative is not merely about breeding a large number of animals. It involves a carefully thought-out strategy that aligns with ecological principles. The goal is to create a sustainable cycle where rabbits contribute to the regeneration of the land, enhancing soil quality and encouraging the re-establishment of vegetation. This concept involved the following crucial steps. 1. Selection and Breeding The first step in the initiative was the careful selection of rabbit breeds known for their hardiness and adaptability. Various breeds were evaluated based on their ability to thrive in the local environment, resistance to disease, and dietary preferences. The selected breeds were then bred in controlled environments to ensure healthy populations. 2. Controlled Release once the rabbit populations reached sufficient numbers, the next phase involved a controlled release into designated areas of degraded land. This was done strategically to ensure that rabbits could effectively manage the vegetation without causing overgrazing or disruption to local ecosystems. The goal was to maintain a balance where rabbits would contribute to land restoration without overwhelming the natural environment. 3. Monitoring and Management Continuous monitoring was essential to assess the effectiveness of the initiative. Environmental scientists tracked the health of both the rabbit populations and the ecosystems they were impacting. This data was crucial for making necessary adjustments to the program, such as regulating rabbit populations or changing release areas based on observed outcomes. The introduction of rabbits into degraded areas has produced several noteworthy ecological benefits which include 1. Soil Stabilization One of the primary goals of the initiative was to stabilize sandy soils that are prone to erosion. Rabbits, through their feeding habits, promote the growth of grasses and other plants, which helps anchor the soil. This stabilization reduces erosion caused by wind and water, protecting the land from further degradation. 2. Enhanced Biodiversity By controlling the growth of certain plant species, rabbits can create more diverse plant communities. This biodiversity is vital for restoring ecosystems, as it supports a wider range of wildlife and contributes to a healthier environment overall. Increased plant diversity also improves soil quality and nutrient cycling. 3. Restoration of Vegetation As rabbits graze on overgrown areas, they encourage the growth of new plants, creating a cycle of regeneration. This process helps restore the natural vegetation that has been lost to desertification, creating a more balanced ecosystem that can support wildlife and agricultural activities. 4. Cost-Effectiveness 
Utilizing rabbits as a natural tool for land restoration is also a cost-effective solution. Traditional methods of combating desertification, such as mechanical interventions or chemical treatments, can be expensive and environmentally damaging. The Rabbit Initiative offers a more sustainable and less costly alternative. Nevertheless, while the Rabbit Initiative has shown promise, it is not without challenges. One of the primary concerns is the potential for overgrazing, which can occur if rabbit populations are not managed properly. This could lead to further degradation of the land, rather than restoration. To address this, ongoing monitoring and adaptive management strategies are essential. Additionally, the introduction of non-native species can sometimes have unforeseen consequences. Careful consideration must be given to the ecological balance of the areas where rabbits are released. Ensuring that the rabbit populations do not disrupt existing wildlife or vegetation is a priority. The success of the Rabbit Breeding Initiative in China highlights the importance of innovative and ecologically sound strategies for addressing environmental challenges. It serves as a reminder that solutions do not always have to be high-tech or costly. Sometimes, nature itself provides the answers. The Rabbit concept has had certain positive implications at the global stages such as 1. Inspiration for other regions this initiative has garnered attention from other countries facing similar issues of desertification and land degradation. By showcasing the potential benefits of using animals like rabbits for ecological restoration, it opens the door for other nations to explore similar strategies tailored to their unique environments. 2. Integration with Sustainable Practices The Rabbit Initiative is part of a broader trend toward integrating sustainable practices in agriculture and land management. As communities and governments recognize the interconnectedness of ecological health and agricultural productivity, strategies like this one can contribute to more resilient and sustainable food systems. 3. Public Awareness and Community Involvement Engaging local communities in such initiatives is crucial. The Rabbit Breeding Program emphasizes the importance of public awareness and participation in environmental conservation. By involving local people, these projects can foster a sense of ownership and responsibility toward the land, encouraging sustainable practices at the grassroots level. As we conclude, China's innovative approach to combating desertification through the breeding of 1.2 million rabbits is a testament to the power of nature-based solutions. By harnessing the ecological roles of these animals, the initiative offers a promising path toward restoring degraded landscapes, enhancing biodiversity, and stabilizing soils. While challenges remain, the lessons learned from this program can inspire similar efforts worldwide, highlighting the importance of creativity, sustainability, and community involvement in the fight against desertification. As we move forward, embracing such unconventional solutions may be key to preserving our planet for future generations. If you found this exploration of China's Rabbit Initiative intriguing, consider subscribing for more insightful content on environmental solutions and innovations from around the globe. Together, we can uncover the stories that shape our world and inspire positive change.